Hi, good morning. My name is Irina. Welcome to my studio. And um, I have been telling you, I think, for a while now that I have been very depressed. And um, I try to still go to my room, but it would always end up in just a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And there was definitely no motivation to clean after myself. And I just recently, well, not recently, but a little while ago, I cleaned my whole room and um, I organized everything. So uh, this is what I end up with being in a really, really deep hole for a couple weeks now. And uh, I, I need to clean up and I need some motivation. And I guess we're going to do it together. I will just, you know, since I organized, I hope that everything is going to go quick. I want to show you something. <laughs> Look, my husband had this box and I fixed it and he was like, see, it didn't even glue properly, but it doesn't matter. He was like, why don't you just buy another one? And I said, because I like to fix things and reuse things. And it has like this hanging folders. I need to fill them up with some stuff that I have over there, you know, my papers and stuff. So... That's my new my new thing here. However, this is for my 100-day project, so that's fine. I always put it on the floor to dry. I'm going to collect it when it's dry. But all of that needs to be put away and uh, cleaned. So I guess I will give myself like half an hour with you. And we should be able to do that because everything is organized in my room. So everything has a spot. Let me put you up there. And then we are going to be cleaning. All right, I guess we're gonna just start out here. And I just picked them up from the floor because they were done. They are done. I just need to flatten them with a book. I'm gonna do it right here on the floor. And while I'm here on the floor, I'm gonna pick up the piece of paper that I'm making pretty. These are the ones that I will still need for my 100 day project. So I'm just gonna put them right here where I keep them. And, oh God, guys, I don't know what's happening to me, but I haven't been that bad for the longest time, and I don't know what's going on. Look, I made all these papers. I had leftover papers from a project. I think this was from a mass making, and then I cut stuff off because it was too long or whatever, and then I did my 100-day project, and I had to... Well, I didn't have to. <laughs> I did do watercoloring. And I i don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but I tend to uh, not to want to pour the water out once I'm done. Because it's pretty water. This one happened to be purple. And you see, I just, I just as always, I have this baggie that I cut apart. I put it on my desk and I put papers on my desk and I just pour it. See, this is still here too. I just poured the water on top and I brushed it and I put more and more paper on top and I brushed it and then I let it dry and I keep this baggie or it's not a baggie anymore, it's just a plastic, I guess. And I keep it right here next to me so I can always do that. And then I get pretty pieces of paper. You know, these were just, I think, white pieces of paper. Now, I'm going to organize them by the little scraps, and I'm putting them here right into the bin on the side because everything got a spot now. And then by these ones, and then I have the bigger pieces of paper. Look, aren't they pretty? And then I had a book here as well that I took apart, and um, for my Etsy store, I still didn't post it. Maybe by the time you see this, I have posted it. But I took it apart, and I had these leftover pages, and look. I just poured some water and I also brushed, I put the brush into um, the colors and I actually brushed some as well. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put papers. I have like pretty, this I consider pretty papers. So they all go here together, not too far from me. Somebody needs to give me a suggestion on what to do with this box. What can I put in there? Because it's standing here and my husband ate another one. Uh, he emptied another one. And now I have two. The other one is still in the living room, I think. Okay, look, but isn't it pretty? Much better than just a book page, right? And then I also have the ones that I use for stamping. Another book page. What else? Now, I want to put these away. And for 
that I do have my papers right here these are like the medium size papers and paper strips like this so whenever I need anything I can just take out here but I tend to just take everything that's around me so you know it's kind of I don't know okay this is my mixed media thing <laughs> I do have one from Tim Holtz but this one I got for a dollar sometime long time ago it's just a morning what is this this is my brush off book whenever I do something with my watercolors I brush it off right here I have a box with book pages <laughs> like this I think I showed you this before and I still didn't do it differently. I still keep it like this weird form, maps and cool pictures and painted. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Normal maps, book covers, cool pictures, painted half text, parts and frames and decoupage. And I think this is gonna be like a, this, all of this should go right here as well. And then my book, I keep with the painted pages because whenever I paint pages, well, these are the painted pages. And this is basically just cleaning my brush on the book page. So I don't waste the watercolor. What is it with me and waste? I'm telling you, even in my therapy, we're talking about how I don't want to waste anything at all, you know? Okay. And then I also keep these because I use them to mark a page. See, this is what I want to do, like a mask making or something. See here, it's an idea for an envelope. And I want to do envelope mask making with this idea. So I basically mark the page in my book of ideas. I love my books of ideas. That was the best thing to do. And, um, I just want to continue. This is the perfect thing for when you, you are in a hole as well because those are just mostly short ideas that you have. Okay, more of the pretty papers. Uh, what did I put? I just had my. Oh, I put it. I put it to flatten it out. This one is not done yet, so it's gonna go with the pages for my 100 day project. Look, it's it's all of it here is just messed up because. It is what it is, right? I have my thread baggie. I have to put it next to my sewing machine. See, didn't even wash out the brush because whenever I was done, I just wanted to leave the room. I didn't want to go into the room in the first place. Does it make sense? Because when you, when you are, or maybe it's just me, but when I'm so depressed, I don't want to nothing do anything that could be joyful you know I wanna I want to stay in my sad depressed feeling forever I guess uh, there were times where I thought I'm just you know gonna, I'm gonna die from crying there another brush that I didn't wash and it's not nothing gonna happen to them because it's just watercolors you know it's oh look at this I'm not tossing this this is um I forget the word. What do you call the little, the little drops? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna get hung up on on this now. All of this is from my one hundred dollar. I always want to say one hundred dollar project. I know where it goes because now I have a mixed media drawer, and I'm just gonna put it right in there. You know, before I came in here to clean, I was thinking about how you guys motivate me to do that you know this is my motivation knowing that you are out there and i'm basically not sitting here alone cleaning thinking about my thoughts the more i talk about different things like this one goes here this is my pretty paper this is this this is that the less i think about the bad thoughts let's say it this way well we shouldn't be judging but i don't know how to do that i learned in dbt that we shouldn't be judging, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> I still do. Okay, I have all of the rub-ons and I used them. Oh, I realized those were stickers, yes. I used them in my 
100 day project. I'm going to open this and just stick the leftovers right in here because they're small and they are going to get lost if I just put it. I have a drawer, yes, because I'm so organized. I have a drawer for my Rabons now, so I know where all of them go. Stickers and Rabons. I put a label right on there. All right, so who else is here? Oh my God, why? I don't know. Something is going on. You are very crooked and everything, so I hope you you are seeing straight <laughs> because I am not. Okay, what else do I have? I tried to make an envelope. I tried to reproduce one. I think I did okay. Oh, I didn't glue it pretty well. <laughs> don't care. I didn't glue it so well. Let's fix it. Maybe I didn't glue it at all down there. Who knows? I tried. And actually, I was thinking today, hey, maybe you should go to the antique warehouse. Not to get stuff, but just because I'm trying to get out on the highway. I don't know. I told you, right, that ever since I had an accident. Well, I didn't have one. Michelle had one, and I was she was driving me. But ever since then, and it has been years, because this happened prior to COVID even, I cannot go on the highway. And I have been practicing. Okay, now I'm like... Uh, where do we put this? <laughs> but I think I know. I have a space for everything and anything. However, I have been practicing and it's a good thing, like the antique warehouse, it's just a little bit on the highway. It's not too, too much. I stay on the highway for like 10 minutes, I think. So I'm practicing going into the highway and getting off the highway, you know, so that's, that's a good thing. What was I thinking just now? Oh, these are all of my stamps. I know where they go. However, I told myself, I don't know. I'm, I'm jumping back and forth. Look, they are still here. I need to put away all of my mask making stuff. Do, 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 do. I still have, like you see, that's all I have done in this time. A little bit of mask making, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then I ended up with all of it. I have all of these that I have sewn and these are decorational pieces and this is for example something I don't really have a spot for so I'm gonna put it into my use box the use box it's good the use box is good um I think I'm not gonna keep those I have decided just now because I also and I just remembered what it's called it's called splattering and this is another one that's splattered. I don't know if you can see, but I'm not tossing this. <laughs> okay. I have leftovers from my mass making of envelopes, which I don't know. I think maybe I should keep them all together with the envelopes. So this way uh, they stick together. And if I want to do something different, I'm going to do something different. It's been, what, 11 minutes, 12 minutes? We're still good? I truly, in the back of my mind, I'm like, stop it, get out of this room. Stop it, get out of this room. Stop it, get out of this. It's like an on constant loop in my brain. And it's just annoying. Let me tell you that much, guys. It's annoying when your brain goes into this. I mean... It feels like I cannot stop this. That's how it feels like. Okay, let me put this. Pretty paper to pretty paper. Oh, it's pretty full here with the pretty papers. <laughs> pretty papers are pretty full. Okay. What else is here? Oh, I still have all of these pieces. This is gonna go to my scrap. Uh-oh, you know what? Careful, I'm gonna move you. Because this starts to annoy me because it's so crooked. Oh, better, better. Okay, nobody got sick. I hope so. Oh, I'm finding more on the floor and all around me. So let's put these in here as well. I just, you know, my sewing machine does this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whew, this was so much coughing. I thought I'm gonna pass out. Whew. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. 
what I'm gonna do. I still wanna go get the map as well. <laughs> you know this this video I'm scheduling for Saturdays. So I might be having a map prior to this video, but I might not. I love these. But will I ever use these corners? That is a big question. I'm gonna put them into my <laughs> my scissors have leftover stuff from what I cut off. I think I'm gonna put this into my use box and see if I would use them up sometime soon. And if not, let me take this off my scissors. These are, and I marked them, my sticky stuff scissors. <laughs> so I can cut all the sticky stuff with those. Mm. What was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, I'm going to put it in my use box and then see what's going to happen. I'm going to get this down here. I also want to buy one of these. <clears throat> I need to buy one of these because it's so messed up here. Okay, I have all of these little things. Stop it. Stop it. She wants me to check out something. And I'm going to put them in here. Because these are like things I would think about when I want to do that. And you know what? I also like this piece. I kept it just because it's so good. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, goody. There. It's supposed to be here. Where did it go? Oh, it is here. I just don't see it. Okay. It should be enough, and it should be enough, because I can make two more, you know? Oh, I think the second one I pushed too, too close. No, we are still okay. Okay, this way I have, like, this is very sturdy cardstock, and I don't have to keep it for next time. I can just do it right now, right? Okay. Oh, look, the paints from Mixed Media. Have my mixed media card which goes in here and i also have these papers here they actually go with the other papers, like with my there's more of these i'm gonna unfold it and fold it the other way around so i can actually see <laughs> right away what it is and i think it's uh, wrapping paper? I think so. Okay, I have all of this stuff here, and this is from a project. I don't think I posted it yet. If I did, I did. But I'm trying to make something new, and I just did like two episodes, and then it's a big project, so I'm not feeling up to it. Ooh, a tiny piece of lace. We need to put it somewhere. I still have all of my stamps. I think I started to organize them and then I didn't organize them. I don't know what to do with those. I need pieces of acetate. Look at that. These are all that I used in my Etsy store. Let me put this away and this away because I know where it goes. And then maybe I'll grab a piece of acetate. I, I did grab a piece of acetate and then I remembered why I didn't do anything with that because I do have the things somewhere because they belong somewhere into my STEM organization here. And I think what I need to do is to find the stamps like where they go. Oh, that could be, that could be something because I have so many stamps. I've cleaned my whole room. I cannot find this stamp. That's my favorite because I like to cut out this part. I cleaned my whole room. It's not here. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm telling you that much. Like here. I'm missing a butterfly here, but I wouldn't know which one. Oh my God. A butterfly and a flower and it doesn't mean that it's going to be here because some of my stuff like disintegrate I don't know it uh, some of it 
got all gooey and weird and oh my god it was no good i i tossed it do we see no nothing in it. else in here i didn't know that stamps would do that you know that they could turn this way here is a missing butterfly but i do not see one and this is one of the newer sets so this butterfly might just you know have fallen out somewhere would they fall out i do not know okay let's see what else is here i'm trying to look through my stamps and see see what i can see this one goes on here oh god this is gonna take up much more time than i will i'm willing to give truthfully what else do we have here nothing else i think do we have like something like that no this coffee thing i don't know where this goes this says something this is a coffee thing as well this is a flower and then a ton of butterflies and birds so these are done oh god but if i don't do it i will never do it does it make sense i i gotta do this otherwise it will stay on my desk forever until it falls down one day and disappears. I just saw a bird that looked like this one. Yep, this is this bird. And then also I have this bird. Okay. What else? Oh, I have this one. That goes in there as well. Okay. Bird. And I have this one. Oh, good very good i think we're getting there okay and then one of these butterflies do i have a butterfly like that this does not look this way this does not look this way this does not look this way and this does not look this way so i guess i do not so the butterfly from here must have i love this but this got all blah i remember i remember this one okay so found a lot at once i appreciate that where did i stop i just i'm just losing my stuff here how about you i think this one which one is missing here i don't know but this one looks like it came from here. What does it say? How's your be? Oh, okay. This is a coffee thing too. So this is not from here for sure. And then I wouldn't know where else I have like butterflies. Those are flowers. This seems to be all full not missing anything okay none of them are missing anything i might have just de-stashed oh this one here let me see this one here i don't know maybe this one i don't think so though something reminds me of this one and then i'm gonna take out this okay let's see we have didn't I just put a bird like this away? Oh, God. Are you serious? Not the bird, but the... No. Bird's here. Okay. I've seen this one. Oh, there it is. I knew I've seen it. There it is. I put it on my acetate. Okay, so this one goes here. And then where was the butterfly that I was missing? just now i think this is it yep i think this is the butterfly that i was missing okay if you are wondering why i have them like this it's because i took them with me to the living room and i had them in a different storage because i was doing something for my etsy store i have this bird i think these were bad went bad i'm almost positive then oh this one goes right here, right here, and this one too. Oh, look at that. And this one too. 
Oh, look at that. And this one too. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at them. There. Oh, I think this one too. Okay. Ooh, key. I saw the key. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, finally, I am doing it. It has been here for a little while. Okay, this one is full. What else do we have? We have bird and flower and all this little tiny butterflies and the coffee. Wait, this one? I remember, but I don't really remember. Okay, this doesn't seem to miss anything. Oh, butterfly right here. Doop, doop. And the tiny too. Yes. Right here. Nice. Anything else here? Nope. Okay, there are birdies from here. I'm trying to clean them up a little bit. Okay. Those two, I kind of remember they were together in a different one, but I don't remember which one. I think this is the butterfly from here. This one got bad too. I think it's the Chinese ones that did. They kind of melted, you know, it was bad. Okay, what is this? This is a piece of... Don't know. Don't know, don't know. I know I have somewhere. It's probably still in my living room. Or maybe I, I took it out for this stash. It could be. It's absolutely possible too. But there is nothing else in here that would fit. Nope. So what I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to just put them all down on this. Yeah, the coffee ones are in the D-stash, for sure. Hmm. I wonder if I'm keeping them or not. But I'm, I'm going to put it down here for right now. And then the flower. It's not really sticking, but, you know. Birdie. <coughs> oh, stranger danger. Luna said strange <coughs> Luna, there is nobody there. They live here. People walk by and Luna goes crazy. <coughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. I need, I need a baggie for these. I do, but I don't have one. And I think I just took the backing from this poor guy. It's okay. Oh, this poor guy is not going to... Everything is falling down. How do you make them sticky? Mm -hmm. I need a little water. A little water. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this in the back because I also know that coffee is not something that I use all the time. Definitely not. So I'm putting this in the back and I'm putting these back. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. <sighs> you have no idea. I'm so happy they are all gone from here. And I actually get to breathe because they don't remind me all the time of what I should be doing. Does it make sense? Oh, I should put them away. I should put them away. I should put them away. Okay, what else do I have? I have all of my books. I know where these go. I have an envelope. I have this. Oh, this goes to my music box. Let me see. Bloop. Just put in there. Okay, so I'm going to put away my inks. How about I close them? Oh, I also have the backings of the envelopes that I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep. But I kind of do. But I would coffee dye them. So I would take them with me to coffee dye. I have my booklet here that still tells me what I have to do Sheesh. I still have to do a lot of stuff but it's fine I have backed some of my cards and I have many more left to back but I know where these go so I'm putting these away I have big chips left over from my projects here so I'm just going to stick it in my toolbox here that says cardstock and something's hiding in the back What's going on here? <laughs> this I found behind my toolbox. This I did a long time ago. It's like leftovers. 
in a plastic bag. Okay, so I'm gonna put away the envelopes and then I have more envelopes here. What are these? Oh, these have no window, it says. Okay. Oh, this one has no window as well. So we're just gonna stick it in there with a no window. Oh, look at that. I have a whole bunch leftover ones already. So I'm just gonna put them all together, I guess. And then clip them. And whenever I need for a pocket or something in an envelope style, I'm going to do it. Okay, this is here. I'm trying, if you don't see me, it's me taking the trash or putting the trash in the trash <laughs> from the side. <laughs> you know, because I don't need to show you the trash, right? Okay, let me put this away. And the piece of acetate that I took out earlier. While I was going back, I found a lot of other stuff <laughs> lying around. I think this needs to go into my sewing machine, whichever drawer it has there. But I think I also need to cut it off because I'm not about to unravel all the things. Okay, and then there is more. And I'm just going to keep the leftover. I do have some threads in here. Some thread goes here. I have made some more ruffles from, you know how I always show you the leftover papers, like strips, and then I tell you, oh, I'm going to make ruffles. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I do make the ruffles, <laughs> but then most of the time I will just um, put them where my Etsy store little gifts are because I love them, but I cannot keep them all. Okay, I have a whole box with ruffles already. What is this one? This one I'm keeping for booking stuff. Booking stuff. And this one, where did my baggie go? Right here into my baggie. And this is the next. I use these big ones to sew in my store because I go through a lot. Let me put this right here. Where's the brush? I had a brush. I put it in my sewing machine drawer here. Yeah, I, I use a lot, a lot of thread. Okay, this will go to my Etsy store stuff. This will go back here. Uh, oh, what is this? These are little, oh, this was such a cool paper. I didn't want to toss it <laughs> because it's, it's, it's a cool feel. And then I had all of these. And I think I have many more of these somewhere. Yes, in my cardstock iris box this goes into the cardstock iris box as well because that's where i'm gonna look for cardstock you know and this one oh i'm just gonna put here where the cool papers are and then i tried to scan something in i was gonna you know offer it for just a dollar or two or whatever in my store i i don't know i don't think i did it and look at the difference like of printing my printer is so bad <laughs> and then I asked Michelle if she could print out at work just to show me the how the printer prints and it prints so much better and then she came home and it was folded and I almost cried I said what did you do I I wanted to use it <laughs> <coughs> excuse me now I have to cut them up oh something got me something got me really bad right now I have to cut them all up and put them on backings. And I have started putting things on backings right here. It's everything I have to put glue down. You know what? Why not? I asked you what to do with this. Oh, something got me. And I don't know if I touched something or what. I cannot breathe. I can put them all in here. These are the things that I put on backings, like this, the cards I showed you, right? Because they are thin. <coughs> oh, goody. I think I need to take a break. I need to go drink something. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna do like 10 or 15 more minutes. I think I'm gonna be done by then. Well, it looks much better already, but I will show you. Let me go drink something and then I will come back and show you. 
Well, I took a very long break, I must say, because it was hard for me to come back here. It's always the same, isn't it? Okay, I think I should cut them out, shouldn't I? So it's just gone and done, right? If I put this away like this, it's not going to be gone and done. It's just going to be put away for next time. And I like to clean. When I clean, I like to finish stuff. So stuff is gone. And I would say we'll do 10 more minutes and then see how far I've come. And that will be enough for today. Because I'm truly tired and... <laughs> I just want to leave. <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but I just want to leave and do nothing. But that's not good. Whenever I go out here, I'll find something else to do over there in my other room. Even if it's just like watching TV, but something that keeps me from thinking, you know. But I don't know. I might just clean up there. Okay. Let's see. Where do we cut? I never know what to cut because. <laughs> they are not straight. Okay, I'm gonna cut here, right? Yes. Okay. I love this girl. I have the original photo of this girl, and I'm just in love with her. I think she is so freaking cute. <laughs> her face is so cute, and her curly hair, and just everything, everything about her, like. Okay, and we get this one, and I think I can use scissors here. Because this is kind of ooh, rounded. I love these photographs. You know, these people lived. To me, it's like always, it's not a digital, it's not like, well, even digitals, I don't know. They are probably made with people who live, but the originals to me are like, oh, somebody took this picture, somebody held this picture, somebody looked at these pictures and, you know, had so many memories while they did. So, it's like, and now I'm pretty sure, or maybe not, but I'm, I'm thinking those people don't live anymore, you know, and they never knew that they will keep living in my journals, your journals, you know, or even if it's not a journal, maybe any other craft or creation. And to me, it's just amazing. I, I feel this is amazing. Now, this one had like cut off corners. Interesting. And my antique store still has this photo album. Oh my God. It's $150. It has a ton of photos from... I think it was Victorian style. I don't know. But it has a whole ton of photos and I'm just in love. <laughs> I've been looking at it many, many, many times. I didn't buy it because, yeah. I don't think I could use them. If I was sure that I would use them, I might buy it. But I know that once I buy it, I will be like, no, cannot use you, <laughs> you know. Okay, not use this to how not possible okay the big wins these i'm not I'm not gonna keep the leftover papers because they are just you know, normal copy paper but the other ones that i cut off i'm keeping it's cardstock and i like to stamp on leftover cardstock so yeah i don't know what do you think should i put some of the printables in my etsy store or maybe on coffee i don't know if coffee charges uh, like I don't want to charge a lot then Etsy store always charges a lot of fees which ups the price of course and I don't know how coffee works like, because you know I would want a little bit for my troubles but I don't, I'm not planning on getting rich on those you know what I mean so I don't know what do you think what do you think I should do I do not know I do know that I should cut them out. So this way they will be done. And I'm not a professional here, right? So I don't have professional principles. I just scan them in. And that's all I've done, please. So 
I don't know. You let me know. How do people do that? Group. Nice. Now you, Uncle. Uncle Tom. You look like an Uncle Tom. Oh my god. Okay. And she folded straight through him. Ay, ay, ay. My daughter has no idea what she's doing. And straight through the cutesy girl. I definitely don't like that. See? But I'm still going to use it. Okay. I'm going to finish this up and then run away. <laughs> I'm going to run away from this room, first of all. But I'm going to show you, you know, how much I have accomplished with you while talking with you. And in those 45 minutes, I barely posed you at all. And when I posed you, it's just when I put stuff back. And it was maybe 10 seconds, you know. So, yeah i'm just saying i want to show you that if you organize and you have a home for everything it's probably going to be easier i'm going to put these here because they will go in the backing but these are card stuff so i'm going to put them to the cards that i have here and this i'm going to put it to my white card stuff or card stuff leftover box that i have here okay so the Oh no, there is something here. But now I'm feeling it again. Will this fit? Oh my god, this even fits all the way because this is going to be my backing paper. It's the leftovers from the backing paper. Okay, I like that. <coughs> this way I can also see what's in there. And whenever I have time, I can just grab it and do it. What else do I have here? Oh, I have this map from the book that I took out. And I do have... Organization here. I also have. Oh, where is it? Empty normal maps right here. I have these. This one is bigger, and it's a different language. Don't ask me which one now, because I do not know. And I do have these. These are leftovers from the book that I took apart. I could not manage to save the backing. It just crumbled. It's just crumbled. And this is the book. I don't know. I'm posting this into my Etsy store like a mix of different language books. I don't know if it's there yet or, you know, if it's going to be there this year or maybe I posted it already. Maybe I'm going to post it tomorrow. By the time this video comes out, it might be there. And these were the leftover pages that I left for myself. Look, what is that? Greek? I don't know. I don't know. But I love these. And these were the insides here which I love as well so I do not know I'm thinking if I make a book cover with this one day maybe but I'm gonna put it where book cover stuff is that's good isn't it okay and then from all of these books that I took apart I found this one somebody wrote on it and I just love it so this is gonna go to my cool papers <laughs> so writing from God knows when and then there were the leftover pages, you know, the ones that were not doubled or whatever. I cannot sell them. But I also am very happy that I get to keep some, right? <laughs> so I have cool pictures. Really cool pictures on here. And I do have here cool pictures. A whole bunch, you know, it has just pictures that I like. And I'm going to stick these right in there as well. And then this is just a different, no, what is this? Oh, this is without pictures. It's from the same book, but it's without pictures, but it's kind of doubled. They are doubled. So I'm going to put the doubled ones into my junk journal pages because they can make a page right away. You see, they are doubled. Okay. And then these ones are, yeah, these ones are leftovers, different language. Okay, okay, I'm keeping these as well. I think I'm gonna put them weird font. I like the weird font thing. Normal book pages, cool pictures. 
painted, stenciled, half text. Do I have anything where this could go? Decoupage. I think I'm just going to put them. These ones right here where my books are in the back. Oh, no. What is it? Oh, I also, yes. Mm -hmm. This is also from the antique store. And I just scanned it in and I printed it on my printer. So this needs to go on a backing. Because I didn't use cardstock or anything. This was just me trying out. How is it going to look like? What is this? February 43. What is this? 46. You know, it's like just little ephemera pieces. And I don't know. I was thinking about just putting random packs into my store. Or coffee, like I said. I'm not sure. See, I don't like that. I, I, I destroyed the mat and now it... I don't know the right English word for that. When it goes up like this and down like this. In German, we would say it's Wölbt. Wölbt. I think so. <laughs> Nicole? My German friend? Is that the word we use? I think so. Sometimes my brain doesn't know which language it is. You know, it happens. It happens. Sometimes I say a word and I think it's German, but then it turns out not to be German. <laughs> but my brain didn't know because my brain thinks all of the three languages I speak are one big language <laughs> okay okay so this will go onto a backing as well i'm just gonna put them in here and hope for the best that one day i can manage to do them all all right and i want to do just this a couple more these are cool stenciled ones i do have stenciled pages here right here and then these are just leftovers i have you see it's still on the backing of the book i think i have the blanks and i'll oh, see these are cool these are doubled okay so the doubled ones i think i'm gonna use for journals let's put them here and then the other ones I'm just going to put in the back. It's a different language too, I believe. And then I have the blank pages right here in my organization. This is a different language as well. So I'm just going to put it in the back. I don't have nothing to organize the different languages because I don't have different languages or I did not have different language books. But now I do, apparently. Oh, I love this one. This was like somewhere the front page yeah this is so first of all it's very aged and it's very cool and i need to find where it goes it goes right here with the empty pages and this one goes with a different language does it fit yes it does okay and then i also have these okay this is falling apart i believe so i have to be careful I don't know what language this is. I think it's Spanish. Is it Spanish or speak Spanish? I mean, I've been learning Spanish for about what? Oh, nine months now, straight, every day, one lesson of Spanish. I still don't speak Spanish. Yeah, it looks like Spanish. So, but it is falling apart. So I have to be very careful with this one. When was it made? Library doesn't say anything on here 1903 it's falling apart completely so yeah this is for my Etsy store though you see and then here another one is that Spanish as well I think so looks like Spanish it's falling apart oh my god what is this it was like a plastic leaf in there it's falling apart too i love the writing here i just love it 1888 yeah and look then there is this piece of paper and oh my god but this is for my Etsy store. i need to take them apart and um you know make packs different language packs that's what i'm planning on doing so i'm i have a chinese book as well but i think we are good now the time that 
it was. I'm just gonna put these Etsy books where my Etsy stuff is. And um, yeah, I didn't finish everything. I have another book here. I think I just got it. Why did I leave it out there? It's been a while that it was there. I don't know, love the writing. And this says English classics. I am blind, I cannot really see. New edition. And I don't know, it says like here, this MGCCC, I don't know. However, I'm gonna put this to the old books. And then I'm gonna put this away and this away. And I will show you how far we've come here, you know? Because it looks amazing. It took me like what, 45 minutes, I think. I paused, but I believe it was like 45 minutes, right? This goes to my store, so I'm just gonna put it where the books are. Okay, let me take my cam off and just show you how it looks like. It's not perfect, but I wasn't expecting perfect, but it's so much better. I think I can come in here and craft now at least little projects because it was getting overwhelming already for me. Okay, let me back out and show you real quick. I think we've done a very good job. So thank you for supporting me. Like I said, I'm gonna take this to my Etsy store. I have my book here and underneath is a project that I want um, to be flat. But my sewing machine, I cleaned up all around it. I cleaned up, of course I wasn't perfect. I still have this box with miscellaneous stuff and over there one too. But it's fine because everything else is gone. I can come into my room and I can just clean my, all of it is clean. Uh, I can just craft, that's what I was gonna say. Somebody would vacuum for me would be great, but I truly don't mind. And there are my pieces of paper that I'm flattening, but it's great, isn't it? Just because everything got a spot in my room now, it went really, really quick. It was a chaos. It was really bad. But, you know, thank you so much. You have no idea how much you helped me. You just you just have no idea. I know that you might be watching and thinking, ah, oh, she's cleaning again. But trust me, it's such a big help to know that you guys are out there. And I am doing it and I'm filming it and I will be posting it. It just gives the whole thing a purpose, I guess. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys are doing good. And um, I hope you are all healthy and happy and having a good time. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.